Yo! What's going on, guys? Right away here, and welcome back to the channel. It's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all of the moms out there. You guys are awesome. If you guys can, drop a like in the next five seconds for all the amazing moms out there. Seriously, they are just the best. And I also love my mom, too, so shout out to you. But as y'all can see, man, we are back here on Black Ops Cold War. And today, man, they released another amazing bundle. You guys have to see this. If you guys head into the store, you will see Angels and Demons Reactive Anime. And in the bundle, it comes with this freaking amazing looking AK-47 variant and the colors are changing. Oh my god, look at that one. But it is reactive. It has a sick angel demon girl on it and uh, yeah, it changes amazing colors. It also comes with this sniper variant which looks amazing but it's not reactive camo. It doesn't have any like tracers or anything. You also get the good and evil charm which is pretty awesome. You get, you know, two calling cards right here. One for angel's grace and the other one is demon's lust. So some pretty awesome things. You also get an emblem too. I have no cod points so we're gonna go ahead and purchase some cod points and then buy this bundle and of course guys before purchasing any of the brand new bundles in black ops cold war or warzone make sure to use my support a creator code it's just raid r-a-i-d and let's purchase the angels and demons anime bundle but first we got to check out what attachments come on this amazing ak-47 i'm glad they finally dropped it for like a really good gun too for the muzzle has the muzzle break uh it, it's okay plus four percent vertical recoil control it's not bad i mean if you change it it's not gonna change a lot of the look of the gun too so i think i might put on probably the kgb eliminator that's probably what i'm gonna do or the groove suppressor that'd be nice too but the barrel it has the 18.2 takedown that is pretty damn good and we'll keep that on as well but the under barrel has the spetsnaz grip that is probably the one i would rock to plus three percent vertical recoil control plus 17 percent horizontal recoil control that is amazing for the magazine it has the 40 round um that's actually pretty good and for the handle it has the speed tape which plus 10 percent aim down sight time i probably probably wouldn't rock this i would probably want to rock like the stock or something so i might put on a stock in game you can't even see like the stock itself really so it's not going to change the look of the weapon this is like the base form of the ak-47 it actually looks really really clean I'm just happy they brought back reactive camos because i remember when black ops cold war first came out there were literally no reactive camos at all here's the second form though this one is so good i mean this has got to be better than dark matter ultra right this camo this reactive camo is it's gotta be better than DM Ultra because DM Ultra doesn't even look this flashy and it's apparently supposed to be the best camo in the game. The Mastery camo I feel like isn't even that cool and then afterwards they come out with bundles that are even cooler camos and it's like why are you even grinding for like the Mastery camo of the game? Here is the next stage though. It's like green flames. Uh, It looks pretty cool. I think I like the orange one a little bit better but still pretty damn cool. That's, is that it? Is that it? Oh yeah, here's the purple. Oh my god. Uh, this is like dark matter. Vi oh, am I getting shot at? Hey, chill on me. But this is like dark matter vibes right here. Oh, this AK is beautiful, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this brand new AK-47 variant. I've honestly been killing it with like the bundles in the shop, and it makes me pretty happy that they're kind of, you know, coming out with some really, really cool things in the shop. Just had this brand new alien, oh my god, AM-16 variant, which was sick. And we also just had the carve come out too, so this week has been kind of crazy for Black Ops Cold War content. I feel like that's definitely what we need because I don't know, sometimes I feel like this game is just so, so stale and it, there's not really a, just a lot of content at all. Oh my god, get off of me, please. I'm just gonna go behind the mannequin right now because I'm a little scared. Like I was saying before though, this camo is amazing, don't get me wrong, but it just makes me, you know, a little upset that Dark Matter Ultra is not getting an update or is not getting like any love like dark matter ultra should be like the best camo in the game you know what i mean but it's just it's literally not and it makes me so upset because i feel like i worked so hard for dark matter ultra and then i could just go into the shop and buy like a bundle like this and have an even better camo so it doesn't even make sense to like you know really grind for dark matter ultra because there's just better things you can just buy right away i guess dark matter ultra camo can go on like any weapon in the game which that's cool and, and like the reactive bundles or the reactive camos only go on like one weapon Hello? What the hell? Is there another guy back there? Hello? Got him. Okay, perfect. I guess it does make sense to grind for Dark Matter Ultra in that aspect where, you know, the camo goes on, you know, all of the guns in the game and not just one. But still, man, like, I wish they would update Dark Matter Ultra, you know, add electricity, add, you know, really, really cool effects. They just, they just don't, and it kind of makes me upset. People are, like, leaving and connecting in this game. I really have no idea what's happening at all. I don't even know where they're spawning at, really. Let me know in the comment section if you guys grinded for Dark Matter Ultra or, you know, just grinded for Dark Ether or something. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna back up real quick because hardpoint is literally in the middle and we just gotta be careful. Kinda seems a little sweaty. We have a harp so we can throw that up. It's already 88 hardpoint. Oh, because... Wow, my team's just destroying this guy right here. Okay, I got him. 
Oh, there's a guy up top. Okay. Oh my god. Spawn protection is ridiculous. I'm dead. Oh my god. How did I not die? Got him. Got him. Oh. Guys, I am literally so dead here. Okay, let's go. Get this guy right here. Let's go. I have 13 bullets in my clip. I have 13 bullets. All right, the harp is up, so we kind of have to go crazy right now. Let's go. We're on a 20. Oh my god, let's go, let's go. There's a sweat tryhard that joined mid-game, and I'm honestly not too happy about it. Also, guys, I've been feeling, like, some type of way recently when it comes to, like, Black Ops Cold War and, like, content. I also have been tweeting about it recently. If you guys have, you know, followed me on Twitter, you guys would see. But, yeah, recently I've been having just, like... A lot of, like, mental kind of issues, like, kind of overthinking, really. You guys are a huge part of my life, so I want to keep you guys, you know, up to date on what's going on in my head, what's going on in my life. And I just feel like ever since Warzone dropped, you know, multiplayer really has not been getting a lot of love. And that just kind of makes me a little frustrated because I enjoy making, you know, multiplayer videos and everything like that. But it just kind of makes me demotivated to make content and videos when multiplayer is not getting, like, any love. And Warzone's just getting all the love, I feel. The Warzone's having these sick events and you know, all these updates and, and everything like that. It's just super popular, free to play. But honestly, man, it just kind of sucks that multiplayer is really not getting that much love. Kill you, kill you. And I still enjoy making multiplayer videos a lot because, oh, I died on a 24. I love making multiplayer videos and multiplayer content, but ever since, you know, Warzone came into play, it just feels like Call of Duty doesn't really give a crap about multiplayer, like literally at all. That just sucks for me and for a lot of other, and a lot of other YouTubers like multiplayer still, but you know, Activision and Call of Duty just doesn't really care about it. I like making Warzone videos, don't get me wrong, but it just, it takes me a while to make the videos compared to like multiplayer. I feel like with multiplayer, I can hop on, get good games really, really quick, but with Warzone and skill-based matchmaking, it just takes me a while to get like a gameplay that I'm actually like satisfied with. That's why I don't upload Warzone like all the time because it just takes me a while to actually make the videos and get the content that I, you know, kind of need. I know Warzone's here to stay. There is going to be a brand new Call of Duty coming out this year made by Sledgehammer, so I'm excited excited to see what that is. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. You know, Sledgehammer has uh, a pretty iffy track record, and, uh, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, excited to see what they come out with. Not gonna judge or make, you know, opinions or anything before I even play the game, so definitely gonna play the game first, and then make an opinion uh, about how the game is. Even then, man, you know, when the new Call of Duty comes out this year, I still feel like Warzone is just gonna be getting all of the love, you know what I mean? All of the weapons in the new Call of Duty game that come out this year uh, from Sledgehammer, all the weapons are just gonna go into Warzone, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I'm kind of just rambling, um, but that's just kind of how I feel about content right now. And I just wish, you know, multiplayer would get the love that, you know, it kind of deserves, in my opinion, but it just doesn't, unfortunately. And I just absolutely popped off. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Wow, I just got on another 20. All right, man, I'm gonna try and turn up because uh, I have to edit this video really quick and then uh, go see my mom on Mother's Day. So yeah, we gotta do that for sure. There we go. What the heck? That dude, kinda just hanging out. I'm gonna listen to for footsteps. I'm getting shot from like every direction. Where is this guy? Got him. Oh my God. What the hell? Got him. Put on armor real quick. I gotta back up, dude. Okay, got one right there. That guy's just in our spawn. Got okay, got the war machine. Got him. Got him in the middle. Got a harp. So I, let's throw up that harp real quick. There we go. Got a guy right here. Let's go. Let's go. Got him. We're gonna push up. This guy's in here. Got him. That guy's right there. Let's go. Oh, yep. 18. Oh my god. Perfect, man. This is exactly what we needed. I need these guys to push up a little bit. There we go. Where are these guys gonna come from, though? This guy all the way back here. Got him. Let's go. We're on a 20. This guy's pushing up. Let's go. 21. Where's this guy gonna come from? 